It's about our seniors, and I'm so proud of uh, Kelly Hayes um, being ready to hit that big shot. I don't think that's an easy thing to be not play for a while, um, to keep yourself in the game mentally as well as confident and emotion. And for her to come in and hit that big three, I was just you know so proud of her, and I thought it said a lot about who she is as a young woman. And obviously, Monique and Jordan have just all year long delivered in big moments, and they were, they're just rock solid in, those, in, that, in that way. And both of them made big plays uh, down the stretch in very pressurized situations. And so just really uh, grateful for the elite level that they've brought this program to, all three of them. Um, for the sustained success, it's really been the best since 1978 um, in terms of uh, winning, win loss percentage, what we've, how we finished in the tournament, and uh, just appreciate the consistency. That we, they, we will forever be talking about their belief in the vision um, and where the foundation of the program has been raised to because of the, these three seniors. So, really grateful for them um, and excited to get into postseason play. Jordan answer that um it was a little bit emotional just when you think about the the past four years and how it's flown how it's flown by um so quickly and I just remember last year that I was standing in line looking at Corver and Nicole going by and I'm thinking that's going to be us next year and it's already it came and um it was a little bit emotional just to think about the past four years and what we've done as a uh, as a team but at the same time, I was just happy for what we have accomplished, what we've done thus far, and we're going to continue to do in the future. Well, I'm glad that we were able to finish strong tonight, and I think it's just going to make us tough going into postseason, having moments like this where just critical moments where you have to be locked in and focused to executing a game plan, stopping their best players and stopping what the other team is good at. So I think that's really going to help us, and hopefully we'll be able to get bigger leads um, towards the end of games, but it's something that we're working towards. I think our focus for our team was having fun. It wasn't fun when there wasn't energy when we played against Colorado. So in order to have fun in the game, we knew that we had to play for each other, to fight for each other. And then for, our, for us as seniors, like this is one of our last times playing in poly. So just to enjoy the moment and just to have fun and, and um, to really just focus on being present in that. I mean, we've been in these situations before, obviously the past two games that, um, well, not last time, but the previous two games we've been in overtime. So, and us being upperclassmen and being seniors, that's what we, that's what we have to do is be composed, stay composed, because it starts with us. So we can't look panicked or, or anything like that because the team is going to follow. So it starts with me and Mo and obviously Kelly too, and just making sure that, you know, um, we have the team together, we stay together through hard times and um, bring that energy that we need. Just thinking about the next play, not dwelling on my mistakes. I mean, that's going to happen in games. Sometimes I see things, and that's not the right read. And um, if I turn it over, I just know I have to get back on defense and try to make a play and impact the game. But um, I wasn't trying to think about, you know, dwelling on my mistakes. I was just trying to make a play and, you know, help my team. Well, <clears throat> the 
good news is we've been a pretty good free throw shooter. It's been one of the best free throw shooting teams we've had since I've been here. So I think that, you know, I've never had Jordan miss two free throws in an in-game situation in her entire career. Um, so I thought I, th I really have a confidence in both of these two and, the, and that they're going to shoot free throws well. And um, so, you know, it's one of those things that, of course, we'll focus in on and, and make sure that, that you need to make free throws and make layups in uh, postseason play, period. And they know that. Um, but you know, we got away with it today, um, but it definitely will be an important thing in postseason, but I think that it's a strength of ours. I, I don't think today's reflective of how we've been all year long. And, you know, and I think just winning these kind of games, I mean, you look statistically, we had 23 assists to 12 turnovers. So you're talking about making each other better. Our shooting percentages have consistently been going up, and teams are running the shot clock so there's all the way down, so there's less, um, less time and less possessions. But really like some of those things. So, uh, you know, those are the stats that I look at to make up for maybe the free throws. You know, um, those are possessions that we got, easier shot opportunities because we wanted to share the ball, give the ball. And it's really not easy when someone's packing it into a zone. Uh, it's like, is this a good jumper? Is this a bad jumper? We really want to get the ball to Mo, but is there a big enough seam? Are we creating enough ball movement for that? So, you know, there's a lot of things that came into play, but, you know, free throws would be a, a doubt, obviously a statistic that I would love to have be higher, rebounding as well, but I really like our assist to turnover ratio. I like the consistency of our two best players. You know what you're going to get, 22 points uh, and 14 assists for uh, Jordan, and then 24 points for Mo and 10 rebounds. That's just consistent. Consistent. You just know that, and I just think it, that's with everybody game planning around them and people playing zone, that they're still getting those numbers. And so those are things that I really like going into postseason because I think that in spite of how people have been game planning against us in that way, they're still able to deliver at such a high level on a consistent basis. And when you've got two big dogs like that um, and we shoot free throws normally pretty well, I think our chances are really good going into March. Ready for anything? Yeah, I don't really care who we play. We just have to focus on us. <laughs>